Okay, so let's build a hash data structure that uses chaining as a collision resolution uh, mechanism. I have created a project already. It's an empty project at this point. I have main.cpp, which is an empty main function, and hash table, uh, dot HPP, which is where I'm going to be creating my hash table class. Now, to do chaining, I will have to use a list, um, and I've got a number of uh, choices to choose from for for uh, a list implementation. I could use uh, uh, the standard template library or STL uh, list or uh, vector, or I could provide my own implementation uh, of a list. Now, for this particular exercise, I'm going to use the STL's list, the uh, standard template library uh, list implementation. And to do that, I need to include list. Now let's uh, create the class, class hash table, right? Now the class need to basically maintain uh, a table of lists or array of lists, right? Now to create a single list, a uh, single list element, uh, this is the syntax, std list, and then uh, the type of each element in this list. In this case, let's just say integer. Okay, and then you provide the name. So this is actually going to create a single list. Now we actually need an array of lists. So I could use the array syntax to, let's say, create 10 uh, lists or an array of 10 lists. Now the problem with this is that this is a fixed size array. So if I later on needed to resize the uh, hash table uh, for whatever reason, uh, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, okay, so in order to overcome this problem, I'm going to allocate the uh, uh, array dynamically in the heap uh, in the constructor. So here I'm going to simply have a pointer, and then in the constructor, I'm going to allocate the memory dynamically. And since the uh, size uh, can vary, let's just go ahead and maintain the size uh, uh, within the, uh, as a private data member as well. Now let's go ahead and create a default constructor. So hash table. Default constructor doesn't take any arguments. Um, so let's assume that the initial size, uh, the default initial size is just 10 elements. So this arrow size equals 10 elements. And then um, uh, I'd need to uh, allocate the memory dynamically uh, for the table. So map equal new, so the new operator is used to allocate memory dynamically in the heap, right? So new, and then uh, uh, every element is just an std list of integers. And then I need a size of these, okay? Now, to create a parameterized constructor where we get the size as a parameter, the initial size as a parameter, um, I basically use the same thing. So, except that I have the size uh, passed to me as a parameter. So, this arrow size equal size. And the rest is just the same. Okay? So, now since we have a constructor, let's just go ahead and create a destructor because we certainly need to uh, free this uh, memory uh, once we are done, right? So hash table, uh, obviously the constructor doesn't take any arguments and then this is basically an array. So we delete it using the array syntax and then that's map. Okay, so let, with this, we're supposed to be able to uh, create an object of hash table. So we just do hash well, uh, we need to include first uh, hash table.hpp. And now um, I should be able to create an object of type hash table, call it hash table, for example. Okay, I should be able to build uh, successfully. So, yeah, it built successfully. Now, let's go ahead and add the uh, insertion functionality to be able to insert an item within the list, right? So the function that inserts uh, isn't supposed to return anything. So return data type is void, call it insert. And this is supposed to take the data item that 
needs to be inserted as an argument. Now, what's the process? The process is that I would need first to hash the data item to locate the appropriate bucket, and then I would need to insert it in that appropriate bucket, okay? So I would need to compute the hash first, and since I would need the hash in many places, and, and the hash is, uh, is just helping other functions, I'm going to uh, create it as a private helper function. So this is supposed to return integer, uh, call it hash, and it takes a data integer data, and all what it does is just uh, returns the data mod size. Okay, so again for the insertion, I'm going to uh, find the bucket first, so integer bucket equal hash of data. So this is going to find uh, the appropriate bucket. And then the list at that appropriate bucket is basically map of bucket, right? In that list, I would like to insert my element, my data element data. So uh, uh, map dot push front um, data. So that's it. That's how I, I insert data items within this hash table. Now, in, in to do search, um, let's support the search operation. So let's say the uh, search returns boolean either true found or uh, false not found. Uh, search, and then it accepts the data item that we would like to search for. Right, so the first uh, thing that we need to do is we need to find the bucket that this data item is supposed to go into. So we calculate the hash. So hash of data. And then uh, the data item or the, the list that this data item uh, is supposed to be available at, if it, is ex if it exists, is map of bucket, right? Now I can... Uh, uh, you know, uh, search within this list, I do my linear search uh, myself, or I could use uh, the find function, which is provided to us by C++ standard libraries, uh, and I need to include algorithms for that. So, algorithm, right? So, uh, the function find takes the, uh, an iterator, which is you know, very sim uh, something that's very similar to pointers, basically uh, point to the first element in the list, and then last element in the list, and then the data item that we would like to search for, okay? So the first item in the list, in my list, so map of bucket, so this is my list, the list that I would like to search within, the first item is uh, referenced by calling the begin function. So find, uh, starting from begin, to end to the last item, bucket.end, and the item that I'm looking for is data, okay? Now, um, the uh, return value from this function is an iterator to the item if it exists or, uh, you know, the list.end if it doesn't exist. So I will use auto to allow C++ to create, uh, to basically infer the data type, and I'll call the return value iterator, right? So now, if the value exists, iterator is gonna be pointing to that value. If the value doesn't exist, then iterator is basically gonna be map uh, of bucket dot end. So let's do that. So F, let's do this, the check. F iterator equals uh, map of bucket dot end that means the item was not found so we will return false otherwise that means the item exists so we are going to return return true so that's that's the search now let's just add a uh, some uh, some items uh, in our hash table and search for these items let's do hash table dot insert Let's insert, let's say, 10, hash table dot insert, let's say, uh, 33, hash table dot insert, let's say, uh, 34, uh, um, let's do uh, 
uh, insert or hash table dot insert uh, 53 as well and now let's search for some of these items okay so let's search for an item that exists let's search for 33 for example and and the uh, if it exists the function hash table dot search for 33 should actually return a true true in C++ is just non-zero value so I will do stdc out just to find out the value that returns from this function obviously I would need to include IO stream it's already included um, and now let's search for an item that doesn't exist so this one is supposed to return a non-zero value this one is supposed to return a zero value let's search for 55 this is going to return a zero Right, so let's build that and see. There you go. The first search return uh, uh, returns a non-zero value. The second search returns a zero value. Now, I think it might be appropriate to um, kind of uh, uh, provide a print function which basically visualizes the entire uh, hash table so let's just do that let's just go ahead and create a function call it print so it returns nothing print takes nothing so what this is going to do is going to iterate over every list and then print that list okay so to iterate over the list so we do a for loop for i equals zero i is less than size because the size of the list uh, the size of the array is size I plus plus and then um, at the beginning of every list let's just print the index so std c out uh, I and let's just have a little column here okay obviously we need to include IO stream here so let's just include that And now, uh, for every, so basically map of i is a list. Now I need to iterate over the list and print its items. The way I do that, I use another for loop, for. So I need to uh, use an iterator that starts at the beginning of the list, stops at the end of the list, and we keep incrementing this. So again, I will use, allow C++ to uh, infer the type. Right, and I'll do uh, uh, iterator equal uh, map of i. So this is the list that I'm currently uh, examining. Dot begin. So that's an iterator to the first element in that list. As long as this iterator does not equal uh, map of i dot end, then simply increment that iterator. And then what we're going to be doing inside is basically printing uh, the value of that iterator. So star iterator. So this is basically going to print the value that is pointed to by this iterator. Okay, so and let's have a little space afterward. And then once we print the entire list, let's print a, a new line. So each list would, would go in its own line. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and print the list. So ht.print. So this is going to print the entire list. Let's see how it looks like. So we got a failure. What's the problem? Uh, is it missing semicolon somewhere? Oh, this is this should be std right okay so let's try that yeah so now it succeeds so there you go obviously if you try to analyze this 10 uh, so 10 mod 10 
that is zero. So 10 goes to less number zero, bucket number zero. Uh, 53 and 33 are all, you know, mod 10, that's basically three. So they go to uh, less number three and so on. Okay. All right. So next, let's go ahead and build a remove function, which is going to remove an item from the list. So um, it returns nothing, uh, call it remove, and it takes a data item. So, um, you know, just, just like we did with uh, insert and search, we need to first find out the bucket. So bucket, dot, bucket equals um, hash of uh, data and now we need you know just pretty much like uh, the search we need to find the uh, item right so we need to find the item and obviously we can use the find function and if the item doesn't exist then there is nothing to do so this is basically finding the item if the item doesn't exist then it's going to return iterator is going to be map of bucket dot end so in this case there's nothing that we need to do just just return otherwise uh, we need to remove it right so map dot so now iterator is pointing to the uh, element that we would like to remove so we can just say map of bucket dot uh, uh, erase so these are uh, again uh, functions provided to us by the uh, list uh, implementation and then we all just need to do is just uh, pass the iterator to the item that we would like to delete so now let's go ahead and, and try to delete some items in print afterwards so h dot remove um, and then I will let's remove 33 okay and let's print afterward h dot print And let's just log this again. So there you go. Now 33 is removed. So this is the first table before deleting, and this is the table after deleting. So 33 is gone. Now there is one uh, additional functionality that I'd like to, do, uh, to demonstrate. Uh, which is basically resizing, uh, and I will come back to this uh, in a different video.